What's up YouTube? So we've got a brand new, the final Suicide Squad trailer. I know we've had a few, but this one shows us some very cool things. No. What's up YouTube? So we've got a brand new Suicide Squad trailer. It's the final trailer, so I'm going to give it a play, give it a reaction, and then I'm going to break it down and explain just what's happening in it. So let's have a look. I okay, so starting off just like do some good. the first few. That's Rick Flair. Really He's talking to Amanda Waller. I haven't seen much Amanda Waller, have we? Frank, it's a so, need to know. Oh, yeah, some footage as normal. You work for me. I really don't like those graphics at all. Need real soldiers Rick Flair again looking like a badass. Everyone and then more footage. Katana. And a weakness can be leveraged. Same footage again. This does look like a great action packed, I think. Mean lady. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Deadshot agrees with uh, Joker. Oh, when are we going to see so much Joker footage, man? Oh, sick. 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 I didn't really think it was supposed to be a good idea for this, but it does look good. Oh, what's that? Is that electric? I accept the consequences. Shit. Oh, no. Batmobile. More Amanda Waller. She does look like a hard ass. A complete hard ass. Bad ass. Right, let's break this down. So, in the trailer there, we saw quite a lot of Amanda Waller. She is really, in the DC Universe, an absolute hard-ass and a complete badass. So you might have seen her on Arrow before she was cut so they could make way for this film, which was, in my opinion, fucking stupid. But we are going to see more of her, obviously, in this film, because she is the one who sets up the Suicide Squad, as well as Checkmate, etc. And Checkmate is a big deal in the DC Universe and when it comes to these covert ops. So if you're more of a Marvel fan, if you're more used to the Marvel, think of kind of like S.H.I.E.L.D. that, but a lot more clandestine, a lot more black ops, and a lot of uh, naughtiness, so to speak. But the, Su the Suicide Squad are darker, really, than anything that S.H.I.E.L.D. has, in my opinion. So Amanda Waller is kind of like the Nick Fury in this, and it's showing that she is a complete and utter badass herself, and that she's got a lot of uh, a lot of darkness and a lot of scary things. And I mean, even the Will Smith character there is scared of her, and Rick Flagg, who is like supposed to be a complete badass, he is also kind of intimidated by her as well. So in the comics, she is the leader of Task Force X and then really recruits everyone in the Suicide Squad from Bell Reap Prison, which we've obviously seen in the previous trailers. Task Force X was actually in disarray and it was rebuilt her and then she got Rick Flagg to join her under her control. Rick Flagg was actually in the original comics as well, the, the kind of really old original Suicide Squad, kind of the, with the World War II stories there. So it's good to see more of Amanda Waller in this, and I'm expecting that you're going to see more of her and her be a complete, just such a cool character. It is a, it is a very cool character, and it's cool to see a female character to be very dominant and very strong in, I think, comics, and also in these films as it is, because over on Marvel we haven't really seen much powerful women, strong women in control. I mean, there should be a Black Widow film by now. I mean, come on, dude. Come on, make one. Make one, damn it. But it's good to get the spotlight shown on Amanda Waller there as well. So, if you enjoyed that, please do drop a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you soon, and goodbye.